This is News 8 Now at Noon. Good afternoon and thanks for watching News 8 Now. I'm Michael Germain. Alexandra is off. A 77-year-old Cashin man will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Monroe County Court sentenced Jerome Luke to 31 years in prison for child sex crimes. Prosecutors filed 14 charges against him in 2020, but the case ended in a mistrial. A second trial found him guilty of 12 counts last November. Luke was a Cashin School District bus driver from 1968 to 2012. In a statement, Monroe County Assistant DA Sarah Skiles says, quote, this sentence ensures Luke is forever removed from our community and cannot further victimize children. A school lockdown in Holman left residents shaken. Prairie View Elementary School was put on lockdown yesterday afternoon after La Crosse Emergency Dispatch received a 911 call reporting shots fired near the school. Officers established a perimeter around the school within minutes of the call. Shortly after, they confirmed there was no active threat in or around the campus. Officers later identified an individual who was shooting at a berm in the backyard of his residence on Old County Road N.A. The case is now being referred to the La Crosse County's DA's office for possible charges. No one was injured in this incident. Happening today, the Department of Workforce Management is hosting a health care job fair today from 10 to 6. The job fair will be had at the Florian, Florian Gardens Conference Center in Eau Claire. According to a press release, the event will help health care workers with their job search. We'll also provide information on the worker assistance programs, including the state's dislocated worker program. If you're interested in attending, you can message the operations manager of Workforce Resource, Inc., Yolanda LeCount, at the number or email on your screen. A hey, good Wednesday afternoon to you, meteorologist Bill Grawl. Uh, definitely plenty of clouds in play for today, uh, more than the past couple of days, but still mild temperatures. Uh, City Cam will show kind of a gray afternoon in progress over downtown La Crosse, but still a record or near record warmth expected today and tomorrow. Now, storm system brings a chance of periodic showers late tonight and into our Thursday, maybe even some isolated thunder in spots, and then colder by the weekend with highs in the 30s, but that's just closer to where we should be for this time of year. Now you can see some radar returns, but I've been checking ground reports and really most of this not reaching the ground. Maybe a few spits and sprinkles between Eau Claire and the Twin Cities. Otherwise, just uh, cloud cover continues to spread in from the south and west in advance of that storm system. Current temperatures, very, very mild once again. 44 in Eau Claire and Black River Falls, 47 in Sparta, 43 in La Crosse, 42 in Prairie du Chien, and 41 in Decorah. So mostly cloudy, kind of breezy this afternoon as well. Uh, still unseasonably mild highs right around 53 in La Crosse, so we will flirt with a record high of 54. How much longer will these mild temperatures stick around? I'll have the answer with my eight-day forecast in just a few minutes. Thanks, Bill. The U.S. Census Bureau says they will not move forward with a controversial change. The Bureau proposed a new set of questions that would have asked people with a disability to rate their level of difficulty with certain activities, instead of answering yes or no questions. Based on their responses, the Bureau proposed that its main estimates of disability would count only the people who report, quote, a lot of difficulty or, quote, cannot do at all. The Census Bureau director said the decision to drop the proposal is based on feedback from the public. A stunning defeat for the razor-thin House Republican majority yesterday. The effort to impeach the Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas, was voted down with a handful of GOP members joining the Democrats to defeat it. It comes as President Biden calls on Republican lawmakers to show some spine on a bipartisan border security bill. CBS News correspondent Michael George has more from New York. The resolution is not adopted. The House GOP-led vote to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas failed yesterday. Secretary Mayorkas has willfully and deliberately refused to uphold the laws of the United States. What you have to offer the American people is this sham impeachment. In the end, four Republicans joined the Democrats in voting against the resolution, with some arguing that impeaching a cabinet official would set a dangerous precedent. Texas Democrat Al Green even left his hospital bed post-surgery to cast his no vote. He spoke with CBS News after returning to the hospital. I went there to help a good man keep his reputation. 
Several House Republicans say efforts to impeach Mayorkas are not over. We can bring the articles of, of impeachment back to the floor maybe as early as next week. In statements, the White House and the Department of Homeland Security described the vote as baseless, and they called on congressional Republicans to support the Senate's bipartisan border security bill. But Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson has pronounced it dead on arrival. We have no real chance here to make a law. It's time for Republicans in the Congress to show a little courage, to show a little spine. Yesterday, President Biden accused GOP lawmakers of caving to the demands of former President Donald Trump, who's come out against the bill. Michael George, CBS News. Yesterday, the House also failed to pass a GOP standalone bill that would have given over $17 billion in aid to Israel. 14 Republicans joined 166 Democrats in the opposing vote. The president had threatened to veto that measure had it made it to his desk. Coming up on News 8, ESPN, Fox, and Warner Brothers Discovery have announced that they are joining forces to launch a new sports streaming service. Stay with us. That's up next. Lori Robbie enjoys working at Park Bank because she thought bigger banks had lost touch with customers. Lori enjoys serving the community. Lori also enjoys growing hostas. So visit Lori at Park Bank in Holman to talk about your financial dreams and getting down and dirty with gardening. What's this? Time. Time for what? Time for the Great Vanishing Act. All this must go. What about me? You're the first to go. Hey, I like it here. Really? Hurry in for the end of business sale at American Home Fireplace and Patio. Save hundreds, even thousands, over 100 fireplaces and stoves, all displays, in-stock grills, and patio furniture must go. American Home Fireplace and Patio, Highway 16, West Salem. Luther High School, powerhouse in culture and academics. Our students are given the tools for high school academic success while also enjoying athletics, choir, and band. Our on-site industrial arts program provides advanced welding and advanced woodworking programs along with industry 4.0 classes. Luther High School is a Wisconsin parental choice school. All families who apply to Luther receive tuition grants. Your Luther High School, Christ-centered education, encouraging and preparing students for life. For more information, go to lutherhigh.org or find us on Facebook at We Love Luther. Cold weather and winter winds remind us that old windows and doors are not our friends. New windows and doors, expertly installed by certified installers, bring comfort, convenience, energy savings, and a great new look. Begin now in choosing just the right windows for your home. Order now and avoid the inevitable price increase in the new year. No worries about missing a promotion. The Board Store offers you the best possible price every day and any day. Contact us online or visit our showroom for a prompt free estimate on windows and doors or other home improvements. The most important value of our law firm is our commitment to our clients. When I walked away from my first meeting with Schwebel, Gens, and Steven, I felt so special. I felt that I was going to be their number one client, and that comfort that they gave me carried through through my whole court case. I always felt that they were pushing for me, advocating for me. They never, never gave up. You need an experienced attorney on your side. Schwebel, Gens, and Steven. Call or visit schwebel.com. There's been a lot of interest in interest these days. Savers, it's your turn. Let us pique your interest at Park Bank with 4.89 APY on one-year CDs. Interested? Contact us at Park Bank. Member FDIC. Wall Street closed higher on Tuesday with stocks buoyed by industrial and real estate gains. The Dow jumped 141 points. The Nasdaq and S&P 500 both rose 11 points. The CDC is sounding the alarm on a deadly outbreak of listeria linked to recalled dairy products. 26 people have gotten sick so far across 11 states. Two have died. The company Rizzo Lopez Foods has recalled more than 60 soft cheeses. Sour cream and yogurt products sold under more than a dozen brand names. ESPN, Fox and Warner Brothers Discovery have announced that they are joining forces to launch a new sports streaming service this fall. The new app will carry offerings from at least 15 networks and will include games from all four major U.S. professional sports leagues in addition to college sports. 
And a record 200 million U.S. adults are expected to tune in to this weekend's Super Bowl. That's according to a new survey from the National Retail Federation. Those who plan to catch the big game at home or at the bar are expected to spend more than $17 billion on food, drinks, and decorations. Meanwhile, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce projects projects, excuse me, the big game will generate half a billion dollars for the Las Vegas economy. Super Bowl 58 will air live on CBS this Sunday, February 11th. Well, that's it for your afternoon consumer news. As we head to break, here is a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us. More news is next. We've done many, many renovations. We bought an old house and have made it into an up-to-date house. Whenever anything involves plumbing, the first call I make is to Maxwell White. Their technicians put together a great final product. Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls presents Matt Stell. Don't miss this multi-platinum country artist live February 16th. With opening act, Mason Dixon Line. $35 tickets include $15 free rewards play. Available now on Ticketmaster.com. Don't miss Matt Stell, February 16th at Ocho Gaming Black River Fall. Must be 21 or over to attend. I don't really ever wonder everything. I should have done something sooner. Everybody hopes that this won't be a big problem. Unfortunately, basement water, it always gets worse. Don't worry. We got this. Great. Well, let's stop her from getting in. The effects of water can be surprising, but at Innovative Basement Authority, we'll do a complete home inspection for free, so you can. Put water back in its place. Schedule a free home inspection today. Whether it's a bathroom remodel or comprehensive plumbing services, we at Maxwell White strive to keep our neighbors safe and comfortable in their homes, offering honest, upfront pricing on every service, all backed by a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Call Maxwell White today. We all love to rep our team, no matter which colors they might be. Believe it or not, some of the most in-demand items are made right in our backyard. An inside look at what they make, how fast they make it, and where it goes, Thursday on News 8 at 6. You trust the First Horn weather team to keep you safe, and even better, you can take us with you. Expect more with hourly temps and conditions. Video forecasts, interactive radar, and your choice of notifications. We're there when you need us. Another reason to incorporate exercise in your routine and the lasting benefits of kicking the habit. More evidence on the benefits of giving up smoking. A new study in JAMA shows people who kick the habit have a significant lower cancer risk. Even 10 years later, the research involved 3 million people and found quitting at any age helped. But those who stopped before middle age received the most benefit. New data links air pollution to cardiovascular deaths. An international analysis finds people in low-income countries are about four times more likely to die from pollution-related heart disease. Polluting fuels and stoves were also a factor in stroke deaths. And people with obesity who have type 2 diabetes can lower the risk of kidney disease by adding more physical activity to their routine. A study in the British Journal of Sports Medicine finds boosting exercise by just an extra hour a week can substantially lower a person's risk. That's it for medical news today. Here's a look at City Cam 8. Bill is in next with our forecast. Never want to leave your kitchen. Buy your cabinets. New year, new kitchen. Stop in, visit our showroom, and speak with one of our knowledgeable designers. Buy your cabinets, Highway 16, West Salem. Have you ever experienced this view? Hi, Andrew Larson here. With Gutter Shutter, you'll never have to experience it again. Please give up this dangerous chore and protect your home's foundation with Gutter Shutter, the strongest, most durable, maintenance-free gutter on the market. Over the past 15 years, my team has installed thousands of maintenance-free gutter systems across South Central Wisconsin. We'd love to come out and show you what Gutter Shutter can do for you and your home, but most importantly, keep you safe and off that ladder. So call today for a free estimate. Upgrade to Music Jam's Premium to get
get uninterrupted listening on all your favorite tunes. Click here to start your seven-day free trial. If it's important, it's not worth compromising. Which is why with farmers, you don't have to compromise quality to get great savings on your insurance. I got this. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Are you ready to build your future? Stella Jones Corporation in Bangor is hiring and wants you to apply. Starting wage for laborers up to $18 per hour with a $2,500 hiring bonus. No experience but a great attitude? Then apply today. Stella Jones Corporation is where safety matters and wages sustain a comfortable living. If you have what it takes and can stand behind our railroads, then we want you to apply today. Never want to leave your kitchen. Buy your cabinets. New Year, New Kitchen. Stop in, visit our showroom, and speak with one of our knowledgeable designers. Buy your cabinets, Highway 16, West Salem. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows, installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. News 8, your home for Super Bowl 58. Welcome back, everyone. Hopefully you're having a good Wednesday so far. Let's start with the uh, record or near record of warmth that we've been experiencing the past several days. Now, even with a lot more cloud cover in play today, still looking at temperatures near those record highs, forecasting highs in the low 50s, both in La Crosse and Eau Claire today. And the record for La Crosse today stands at 54, set way back in 1878. Eau Claire, your record stands at 50, set in 1987. So both locations will be flirting with those record highs today. Again, it's a gray day, plenty of clouds out there. Uh, the numbers showing a high of 43 so far. Look at our morning low, 36. That is six degrees above our average high for this time of year. We should start around 12 degrees, and there's that record high of 54. Uh, no rain or snow. Sun sets this evening at 523. Currently 43 degrees out at the airport, 44 downtown at the station. Winds out of the south, and they are starting to ramp up a bit, uh, making it feel like 39. The Mississippi dropping a bit, 5.38 feet. Pair of fours for you folks in Eau Claire. Also with cloudy skies, so winds out of the southeast at 10 miles per hour. So note the lack of any uh, significant cold air. You go way to the north here up into Canada. That's where any cold air resides. But uh, boy, locally, temperatures primarily in the 40s, including 44 in Black River Falls, 47 already in Sparta, 41 in Barroqua and Decorah, and 42 in Prairie du Chien. Again, winds starting to pick up from the south and southeast, 5 to 15, gusting 20 to 25 miles per hour in some spots west of the Mississippi River, and these winds will continue to increase this afternoon and into tonight. Now again, most of this that you see on the radar not reaching the ground. It's evaporating before doing so. Maybe a few spits and sprinkles north and west of Eau Claire. Otherwise, just plenty of clouds this afternoon and into tonight as that storm system near the Four Corners uh, makes a beeline into the upper Midwest and brings our rain chance as we head into uh, tomorrow morning. Sky tracker showing clouds this afternoon and into tonight with those breezy conditions. And towards morning, we'll see uh, one band of scattered showers uh, lifting northeast across the area. It's not going to rain all the time tomorrow, kind of periodic showers. Another band of showers in the afternoon and evening, maybe even some thunderstorms, especially down to the south here as that low lifts uh, north and east across the region. Then on Friday, still some wraparound uh, clouds and maybe a few spits and sprinkles or flurries in a few spots. Rain trackers showing light amounts of rain with this system, generally a quarter inch or less, maybe some isolated higher totals in any areas that see thunder activity. Highs today, lower 50s in the La Crosse area, uh, upper 40s to low 50s down to the south, and more the same as we head back to the north. Lots of 51s and 52s, uh, maybe a 53 here or there, and a 51 in Chippewa Falls and Altoona. So 53 today in La Crosse, again, flirting with that record high. Otherwise, plenty of clouds, breezy and very mild. Very mild tonight. That's another thing. We're setting record warm lows as well. Most of those are in the low to mid 30s, so that 43 will shatter the one uh, late tonight, tomorrow morning. Slight chance of showers towards sunrise. Otherwise, breezy tomorrow, period of showers, isolated thunder, 56 for the high. Cooler Friday with a few sprinkles or flurries, 42. 30s for the weekend, so that's just getting back closer to average. And some low-end precip chances around Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Maybe some light snow showers Wednesday night into Thursday. Michael, that's the latest. Thanks, Bill. Coming up after the break, the Super Bowl is just four days away and Sin City is rolling out luxurious experiences. Not just for those who are going to the game, a preview of what fans are doing ahead of the big game. 
Stay with us, that's up next. We're starting the new year with our biggest sale of the year at Interior Designs Holman. All our carpets are on sale so you'll save money and get more for free. Free measuring and estimating at your home, free furniture moving, even that heavy couch and king size bed. Free removal of your old carpet and padding and we'll recycle it. Free life of carpet labor warranty for as long as you own the carpet. All at the lowest prices of the year and 12 months no interest financing. Save money and get more for free during the biggest carpet sale of the year going on now at Interior Designs Holman. Asher Lasting Exteriors is committed to craftsmanship, innovation, and outstanding customer service as Western Wisconsin's window and door replacement experts. Our superior quality, energy-saving windows and doors from the trusted brand of Renewal by Anderson are skillfully installed by certified technicians and backed by some of the strongest transferable warranties available. Save up to 22% with zero down and no interest or payments for up to 18 months with Renewal by Anderson Windows and Doors. Brought to you by Asher Lasting Exteriors. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. The Super Bowl is more than just a football game. It's an all immersive experience, especially this year because it's in Las Vegas. You don't even need a ticket to Sunday's game to get swept into the excitement. Jared Hill is in Las Vegas to show us some of the once in a lifetime experiences ready for visitors to enjoy. Celebrating the Super Bowl has become so much bigger than the game itself. Of the half a million people expected to flood Vegas this week, only a small percentage will actually go to the game, but visitors can still be part of the action. This is our fan event that's really meant for fans who don't have tickets to the game to really feel like they're part of the Super Bowl environment. The Super Bowl experience offers photo ops with the Lombardi Trophy, a field to run drills and access to NFL stars. Micah Parsons is going to be here. Eli Manning is going to be here. Jerry Rice is going to be here. Getting some autographs. Just up the strip, Paramount has transformed the famous volcano at the Mirage Hotel into Paramount Expedition Vegas. The theme park takes fans to new heights, showcasing 10 of Paramount's most popular shows and movies, like Ghosts, Survivor, and the upcoming biopic, Bob Marley, One Love. This virtual gondola ride on Paramount Mountain is exactly what this is about, immersing visitors and everything that is Super Bowl 58 and everything that's Paramount. That people really do want to um, experience what, th what their show is or sort of what they're a fan of, and everybody has their social media. It took months to build a ski lodge in the desert. Now, Paramount Expedition Vegas is getting ready to welcome fans with an unforgettable experience on a mountain of entertainment. Jared Hill, CBS News, Las Vegas. Paramount Expedition Vegas Journey to the Peak is free to everyone and opens on Thursday. The NFL experience at Mandalay Bay opens today with reduced ticket prices. Kids under 12 are admitted free, and you can catch the big game right here on WKBT Sunday night. Stay with us. We'll have one more check of your forecast when we return. Now, here's your two-minute take on area businesses, communities, events, and entertainment. I'm Peyton Danowitz with News 8, and this is another two-minute take. 
Today, I'm joined by John Bias, who's the Director of Advancement at Luther High School, and he's gonna talk to us about some of the improvements they've made in the last year. John, can you tell us a little bit more about the additions you guys have made to Luther? The recent addition we've made to Luther includes the classroom that we're in, which is our Industry 4.0 classroom. We've added an advanced woodworking addition, a welding and metalworks addition, along with an addition that allows us to grow a robotics program. What was the goal of these additions? The goal of the additions is to give kids a foundation, whether it's in the Industry 4.0 classes or whether it's in welding or woodworking, to give them a foundation going forward to a two-year or four-year college. What does this mean for current or future students? Well, we're blessed right now because we do have kids from freshmen through seniors in the class. As far as families looking at Luther High School in the future, it really allows them to look at Luther in a way they never have. We've had 66 years of Christ-centered quality education, but this has kind of been the puzzle piece we've been missing. So when kids go through these classes, it allows them to go to college like Western and take these credits with them, these stackable credits, so that they can just advance in whatever trade they'd like to get into. What does this mean for the community and the trades? For the community and the trades, uh, first off, starting with the Ron and Joyce Wannick Foundation, their support has been amazing. Uh, companies like Weezer Brothers, uh, Weir's Electric, Interstate Roofing, Don's Plumbing, Excel Engineering, all of these companies uh, got so excited about this project because for them, this is going to provide a foundation for our students going into those trades. So the goal is come to Luther High School, get your foundation, go to a two-year, a four-year, or go directly into the trades, but we'll have them prepared for that. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for all this information, John. We encourage you to come check out the Industrial Arts Edition at Luther High School. The First Warren Weather App. Download it today. Again, plenty of clouds this afternoon, but uh, dry and still very, very mild. In fact, current temperatures in the 40s, ranging from 41 in Decor to 47 in Sparta. We will flirt with records again this afternoon. Highs in the lower 50s. Uh, the record stands at 54, set way back in 1878. Breezy with scattered showers tomorrow. Isolated thunder as well. It's not going to be an all-day washout, though. And still mild, 56. Cooler Friday, a few sprinkles, 42. And then colder still for the weekend with highs in the 30s. But that's just getting closer to where we should be uh, for this time of year. Michael. We want to thank you so much for watching News 8 Now at Noon. We'll see you at 5, 6, and 10. Have a great day, everyone.